Hi folks, this is The Fasting Atheist and it's nearly the end of day four for me. I have three things that I want to address today and I want to do it in five minutes. Uh, the first thing is that I made an unfounded comment, or two actually, yesterday, and I want to quickly address those. The white film, I don't know if there's enough colour contrast there for you to see that, but there's a sticky white film that forms on the tongue. Most fasters think that this is the toxins pouring out of their body. I have a real problem with that idea as I do with the whole detox industry. Toxins are things that can poison you. Now, an eastern brown snake, the second most deadly snake in the world that lives about 100 kilometers that way from my place, I used to catch them. Now, that is a very neurotoxic bite if you get bitten by one of those guys. However, if an eastern brown bites another eastern brown, um, it's not going to have quite the same um, toxic effect. So in other words, when you say something is toxic, you ought to say something is toxic too, or something is toxic in, a, in enough quantity. So for instance, any food that we eat can be toxic in enough quantity. Uh, you can die from, presumably, uh, if you, if you, if you pour buckets of sugar down into your body, you could, you could potentially die. Um, uh, nicotine, people smoke all day, and good on them, I don't anymore. Um, uh, but if they were to say get all of the nicotine that they take in one day, in one minute, they would die, it would be toxic. But during the day, it's not toxic. So to speak of, um, you know, hippies and new age is talking about, oh, we've got to get rid of all the toxins, man. And uh, I even knew one lady who went to hospital and got a hysterectomy, got the great boon of medicine and know-how and knowledge that fixed her up and gave her the next 50 years free of this, well, you know, the next 20 years free of the terrible um, men menstrual uh, pains and all sorts of complications. And the day I picked her up from the hospital, she said, oh, take me straight to the chiropractor. I've got to get rid of all these toxins from that filthy medicine. Now, I find that ungracious, stupid, and totally misinformed. Um, <laughs> and, well, it's, I think it's self-explanatory. Uh, I, won't, I won't make any comments on that. Um, so a lot of bullshit spoken about toxins. So back to the tongue. There's actually good reason to suspect that what the white film is mostly um, made up of is keratids, which uh, keratid epithelials is actually the term, and it's basically dead skin. Yeah, you guessed it. We're losing skin all the time from our epidermis all around our um, bodies, which comprises 70% of the dust that we vacuum up from our floors and brush off our windowsills, right? Yes, that much. Uh, and the tongue, just like any other part of the body, sheds these epithelials. Now, when we eat on a daily basis, the roughness, the roughage in the food, the, act, the, 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 uh, the storm that goes on inside the mouth when you're eating is enough to wipe those away. So what happens when you stop eating? You build this up. So that's just one take on it. Um, now that's not conclusive, but that comes from a, a man called um, uh, Brandon Lee uh, in Cora. Uh, I've got a citation for that, um, and I'll put it in the notes underneath. Uh, and he's studying um, medicine and health um, at uh, uh, in in the in the states. Um, I, I want to get corrobor corroboration on that before I push that as the the you know um, the best answer to what the what the white film is. But I just want to in introduce that note of skepticism. Whenever you hear the word, oh, I've got to detox myself from this, or I've got to detox this, really please uh, develop a healthy skepticism about that because we really, as a society, we've been duped by another. Snake, uh, snake oil industry and snake oil salesmen have been around ever since Adam and they always will. Quickly to the second point because I've got 18 seconds to finish my video. I was 100 kilos when I started my fast three days ago which is 225 pounds for my growing body of American, the army of American uh, viewers. Um, today at day four I weigh 97 or kilos or 216 pounds. So that means that 
uh, whichever is more meaningful to you. I've either lost, uh, I've lost nine pounds, and I uh, or or, um, or three kilos. Now, quickly to a couple of people who've joined up, and I'll uh, mention you by name next time. Great to have you. Good on you for starting. But this leads me to the uh, next point that I want to make. When you're feeling down, when you're feeling um, moments of despair, alarm sadness, grieving about food. We all go through it. When you feel that this gigantic chasm of time is opening up where you're not gonna where you're not gonna be able to eat, prepare food, enjoy the smell, the taste, and just relax, digest, you know, in this kind of you know how we're satisfied after food for hours? That takes a lot out of the day, out of just the the bread and water of life, right? The ordinariness of life. It really is a powerful distraction and a, a good, you know, a, a good thing, you know, thank Christ we've got it. <laughs> food, glory is food. Um, when you stop that, you're going to experience a whole range of negative feelings. Just quickly, and I'm going to make this a theme of another video and devote the whole video to it. Breath work, breath awareness, meditation, that's going to be the theme of my next video, day five. But just now, what people have just started and gotten through day one, there's a couple have said day two. Um, by the way, I wish you'd subscribe, and I wish you'd done, um, because then you can avail yourself of uh, a message coming to tell you that I've done another video. And, um, and so, <laughs> the more subs I get, then the more it gets out into more people, and I can reach more people. So that would be helpful, and likes also, and um, comments and questions um, would be great. Um, but I'm getting a few starting to come in, and that's very encouraging. Uh, but yes, next next tomorrow I'm going to talk about the the boom that is breath awareness, so that when you get these negative thoughts, you just start doing the most intimate, the most simple, the most everyday thing that is a breath cycle, an inhalation and an exhalation, preferably while you're walking. And try and think of nothing else and bring your mind back to that breath. Every time your mind wanders off into those dark thoughts or any thoughts, just bring yourself back and say, no, I'm just aware. Just, well, actually, don't say anything to yourself. Just bring yourself back to that awareness of where you are in the breath cycle inhalation, exhalation, and I promise you this is the most powerful tool in your kit to survive this, uh, this fast and be successful in it. So I'll leave you with that and next time we'll talk more about just that. Okay, all the best, bye.